All right, so for the second part of this, um, basically example two continued, we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve because we can't factor this, and we're going to round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so first and foremost, do we have standard form? No. This does not say equal zero. So let's rewrite this. Okay, we would bring this over here and we would change the sign and that equals zero. Okay, so standard form, we have A, B, and C. Now, we're going to plug it into the formula. So B is negative and B here is also negative. So then we have B squared, so negative two squared minus four, remember we do parentheses for A and for C, so A is seven and C is negative eight. Then we have two times A where A is seven. Okay, so now the next step is to simplify the three parts of the problem. So this is part one, part two, and part three. So part one and part three, really easy. Double negative makes positive two and two times seven is simply 14. Okay, so now, negative two squared really means negative two times negative two. That's four. Then, we have negative four times seven times negative eight. This equals a positive 224. So plus 224. Okay, now I'm going to use this space here just because I know that I have a lot of space, so I have a lot of work. So now these I'm going to add together. So 4 plus 224 would be 228 divided by 14. Okay, oh, I see there's a little bit of a glare here. So that 228 in the radical can definitely be divided by 2, it can be simplified. So off to the side, I want to do a factor tree for 228. So um, if you divide by 2, we're going to get 114. So I just took 228 divided by 2. Okay, now I know that 114 is divisible by 2, so I divide it by 2 since it's even and get 57. So this can break down to 2 and 57. Now 57, it cannot uh, simplify besides 1. So I'm done with my radical, or sorry, with my uh, factor tree. So I have 2, 2, and 57. So this part of our answer is going to be changed with the new radical over here. We have a pair of twos, right? So we would say two plus or minus, and we add our over 14. So this radical now will be two square root 57. So we learned last lesson how to simplify the radical so that we can do it basically in quadratic formula. So now, um, when you look at all three spots and you see that these numbers that are not in a radical, not in a radical, if they can reduce, you need to reduce them. And they can by two. So like two divides into two one time. And two goes into two another time, one time. Two goes into 14 seven times. So my new solution looks like this, okay? But the problem is, is that you never write the one in front of the radical ever, okay? So here is the actual solution. Okay, so that I can jot down here. But it also says to find the decimal form, okay? So the first one I'm doing is 
1 plus the square root of 57 divided by 7, and 1 minus the square root of 57 divided by 7. Okay, so 1 minus the square root of 57, and then I divide that by 7. So I get negative 9 or 0.935. Okay, so the 3 is definitely going to round up to be negative 0.94. Okay, and we got to figure out this one. So here I've got 1 minus the square root of 57 divided by 7. Oh, did I do something wrong in the first one? Okay, so we get the same answer. So let's go ahead and write that down and let me check the first one. Okay, so that's going to be. Okay, let's check that one again. So that first one, maybe I didn't press the plus sign. So 1 plus the square root of 57, yep, divided by 7. So that was my bad. I pressed minus instead of plus in that first step. So we've got 1.221. So we've got, um, that would be 1.22, and then that one would be negative 0.94. So you can just rewrite them in a different order. Okay, last one we're going to do for this day of notes. So there we need to have it equal zero. So remember if you're bringing it over, you're changing the signs in both of the numbers, both terms. And then a negative two. So you have a B and C, and we need to plug it in. So negative from the formula, and then 12 is positive this time. So I've got a negative 12 plus or minus B squared, which would be positive 12 squared, minus 4 times 5 times C, which is negative 2 all divided by 2 times a, which is 5. Okay, so now we have our negative 12 plus or minus that 10 at the bottom. So up here, 12 squared is 12 times 12, which is 144. Okay, negative 4 times 5 times negative 2 is positive 40. Okay, so this would simplify to be the square root of 184. Now that square root of 184, that tells me I'm going to have to simplify the radical there. So I'm going to do the 184 to the side somewhere. And um, it's divisible by 2. So we can take 184 divided by 2 and get 92. 92 is divisible by 2, so that's 46. 46 is divisible by 2, which is 23. So I see that I have a pair of 2's. Okay, so the whole point of the factor tree is to replace this part with a simplified radical. You simplify the radical by doing the factor tree. So x equals negative 12 plus or minus, okay, the 2, the pair, goes on the outside, the leftovers we multiply and it goes back in the inside. So 2 times 23 would go back in to be 46. Now, I see that these three numbers are divisible by 2. This is also divisible by 2, but it's in a radical. So I can't touch it. So I'm just going to simplify these if I can, which they all can be divided by 2. 
So that would be a negative 6, negative 12 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So when I rewrite this, I've already told you guys that we don't need that 1. So we're going to go with negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 46 divided by 5. That is our simplified radical solution. Okay? There's a radical in the answer. So obviously, that is a radical solution. Now, to figure out our decimal solutions, remember that we have to write out our two ways. So negative 6 plus the square root of 46 divided by 5 and negative 6 minus the square root of 46 divided by 5. All right, so let's plug it in. So negative 6 plus the square root of 46 divided by 5. So 0.156. Okay, so obviously that is going to round up. 6 will make that a uh, 6. Okay, here, negative 6 minus the square root of 46 divided by 5 is negative 2.556. Okay, so when we round to the nearest hundredth, we would have 0.16 and negative 2.56. Okay, um, that's a lot of information. I would definitely go back, rewatch whatever you need. And, um, and make sure you are listening so you understand what I'm talking about in each lesson.